So how do we detect what component is short on a motherboard? A customer brought in an iPhone 6 that doesn't power on. As soon as I tried to power on the phone, I, it immediately got hot from the back. Uh, heat is an indication that there's a short somewhere on the board. I plug the phone into a charging port and the battery seems to be charging fine and the charging port is working. The screen is also in mint pristine condition. So how can we tell what part of the board uh, or what component on the board is causing the short? It's a very difficult question to answer. Uh, an iPhone motherboard is made out of thousands of components that you can only see under a microscope. Uh, so how, do we, how can we tell uh, where, where, you know, what caused the problem or what component is bad? Remember, short is caused by positive touching the ground and that creates extreme amount of heat that you can actually feel. So uh, what method do we use in order to detect short? Uh, for the past maybe three or four years, we've been using the floor cam. I know a lot of you do not have the floor cam or maybe do not want to invest in the floor cam, but I cannot tell you how many times we, we quickly found the short by just looking at the floor cam. Um, by pointing the floor cam on the motherboard, I can see where the hot area on the board is. Now, hot area does not mean that the area is short. A CPU by default gets extremely hot. It doesn't mean that the CPU is bad. So uh, we do not go and start troubleshooting the CPU or doing stuff like that. But we, we look at the overall picture on the floor cam to see what hot areas we have on the board. So let me take you under the microscope. I already took the board off the phone. Okay, so I want to plug the battery in so we can turn on this phone. Battery is plugged in. Now as soon as we plug the lightning cable to, to charge it, the phone is going to turn on. So what we want to do, I want to take you over to the thermal cam. And show you as soon as I plug the cable in, what gets hot. Okay, so I did not plug any cables in. And just one moment. Northage fix? Yes. Um, so I have a Samsung Galaxy S8, and I need the screen and the LCD uh, replaced. All right, just give me one moment. Okay. Galaxy S6 Edge, just the S6. Is it the 6 or the 8? Uh, 6. Okay, so let me show you what happens as soon as I plug in the lightning cable. One, two, three. So we have the CPU on the left side uh, or on the top side. That's the CPU. It got really hot and this area, it got very, very hot to a point where, where all the components nearby got hot also. Now, in order to see which component is getting the hottest, I need to raise the temperature boundaries of the floor cam. So instead of seeing 90 to 104, I want to see, let's say 140 to 100. 150 to 165 so it's this component that's getting the hottest and this is most likely the shorted component okay this one right here and and i can tell i know which component this one is what i do is i put the the tweezer over it because i cannot see the actual component but okay so the component that was heating up the most is this cap right here so now if we get our multimeter put it in diode mode and check for a short. Will we see a short? Okay, so this is our NAND chip right here. So the component that's heating up the most is this one right here. Okay, this is the ground area of the cap and this should be the three volt area of the cap. Okay, if we put the probe on it, it shows as short. I wanna look at the board diagram and see what components does this capacitor uh, connect to. So this is our board view and the component in question which showed on our floor cam with the most heat is this component here. That's where the short is probably starting up and it's heating the rest of the area because all the yellow labeled components are actually connected to this component 
and the reason I suspect this to be the shorted the bad component is because it has the most heat on it I did not see any heat on the NAND chip so I can assume that the chip is good right now the only suspect I can see is this component here if I do take out the component and the short is not gone then I can proceed to check the rest of the yellow labeled components and it's got to be one of those components there uh, now what we're going to do is try to remove the capacitor that we suspect is short which is this one right here We took out the component, now we're gonna have to test and see if we still have a short. If we do not have a short, that's good news because we can replace the component and the phone will work again. If there's still a short, that means the short is elsewhere and not this component. Let's test uh, by using the diode mode. Okay, our short is gone. Okay, so we're gonna test and see that we still have this hot spot here. One, two, three, plug in. Look at that. No more hot spots. No more. Perfect. We're going to replace the capacitor and try the phone. I think I'm going to get it from a donor board. I should have an uh, iPhone 6 salvaged board somewhere here. Is the same. Yeah, right there. So we're gonna borrow the capacitor from here and put it on the other one. All right, so that's the capacitor that we need. Now we need to put it back on the other board. We do not want to lose it because I do not have another one. We're gonna put it right there. Hopefully this capacitor is good. I'm taking it off a bad board. Let me put it somewhere right here so I don't lose it. Perfect.
I think the tip is too big. I think I should use the smaller tip. I'm not happy with the pads. Not happy. Much better. Much better. Okay, so it's in place. Let me just press on it just a tiny bit. Will this work? I'm excited. It's working. It's working, baby. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Where is it? Oh, okay. The home button is not plugged in, so you get the point. It's working now. I should have plugged my home button. All right. So you can see that it's all good. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something uh, on how thermal cameras work and how they can be beneficial to figuring out where the short is. If you like this video, you can uh, like and subscribe. Leave us a comment if you have any questions. And I will see you again in the next video.